On December 12th of 2022, coach Mike Leach passed away at the age of 61. He will forevermore be remembered as a pioneer that orchestrated the air raid offense that has taken the storm of the college football landscape and was building something super special at Mississippi State University. In the 2022 season, the Bulldogs would finish with a 9-5 record. But only three seasons into his tenure at Mississippi State, folks would say that he was long from done finishing what he set out to accomplish. And so today, we're going to do just that. We're going to attempt to finish what Mike Leach started at Mississippi State. One thing that a lot of college football fans might not be aware of, Coach Mike Leach actually holds one of the highest winning total counts of all of active coaches in the college football landscape. I'm going to make two very specific moves. The first thing we're doing is, is we're changing Mississippi State to an air raid offense, and we will live or die on the back of our quarterback, Will Rogers. I'm also going to make the defense a little more complicated by adding a multiple defensive set. Taking over this Mississippi State team, there's a lot of holes that need to be filled as a lot of seniors, but the base foundation was present. Sophomore quarterback by the name of Will Rogers, standing at six foot two, had a cannon of an arm. I'm confident we could work with this in this total air raid offense. On the defensive side, a couple of notable standouts, but one that stood head and shoulders above all of them. Six foot cornerback Emmanuel Forbes will help anchor that secondary. As we enter into the regular season, our first matchup is going to be against Arizona. Mississippi State is trying to drive the field where the young quarterback Will Rogers throws a pick to the Arizona defense. He's young, so he's going to need some time, but if Coach Leach believes in him, I think we should believe in him as well. About two minutes left to go in this ball game they hit a dot over the middle of the field that's Jacob Cowing with a 13 yard reception and as the clock continues to wind down the quarterback for Arizona finds a beautiful target on the sideline crucial fourth down play they gotta get this conversion they try to hit a screen play but we break it up with the defense we'll move from week number one with the 1-0 and record now playing up against Memphis Will Rogers finds a dot to the sideline where he hits Mosley who runs up the field and hits the 30 yard line Rogers is finding a little bit of a more confidence in him because he needs that if we're going to rely the entirety of the offense offense on his shoulders. He's very mobile with his feet and he gets the first down here, but he hands it off to Johnson, the running back, and Dylan Johnson will put the proverbial nail in the head for this matchup, moving them to a 2-0 record as they move into this next matchup with Auburn, with Middle Tennessee, and as you can tell, this air raid offense is starting to find a groove. Due to the early season success and Mike Leach's long coaching history, a lot of people decided to commit to us as we head into our matchup against LSU. Emory Jr. falls forward for the first down as they are down one possession in this ball game. Lots of time left on the field they try a wildcat formation and emory jr throws it right over the top and gets it picked off matthews will end this game against lsu at home where we will come out now as a 5-0 record as we move into the next conference matchup week number eight we're going up against an nfl prospect in the kentucky wildcat as a simple handoff turns into about a 14 yard game kentucky is currently down four points in this ball game but will levis pulls off the most incredible pass along the sideline it was very nfl-esque as they take the lead for the first time in this ball game and have a three-point lead. Three points is what separates these two teams as Will Rogers gets the opportunity to cement himself as the leader and captain of this unit. He gets to the sideline and he finds William on a dot who's going to be taken down inside of the 40-yard line. Will Rogers is getting accustomed to not only keeping the defense honest with the pass but also with his feet as he gets a chance to go with the read option play and falls down inside of the five-yard line. Calls his number again, decides to keep it and will jump his way into the end zone and take the lead in the fourth quarter with two and a half minutes left to go. Kentucky with the football again. Down four points on a crucial fourth down and 11. Will Levis continuing to show his NFL resume as he hits another beautiful pass along the sideline for a 21-yard reception. As they're sitting here in the end zone, another fourth down opportunity, but he dots him in the end zone. That's dang key as they not only get the lead, but they get the victory. I wouldn't say we're having a bad season. We're 6-1 and one and currently in second place in the SEC West. We go up against South Carolina where Rodgers connects with Wally on one of the most beautiful sports center top 10 plays of the week now sitting with a 24 point lead spencer rattler tries to continue getting his offense going but his guy gets absolutely clocked matthew picks up the scoop and he is all the way to the end zone as the mississippi state bulldogs go to south carolina and end up coming out now with a seven and one record moving on to week number 11 they'll be taking on a top 25 texas a&m team in kyle field here we are in overtime as texas a&m pushes the lead for the first time in this overtime drive the young sophomore Will Rogers has to match what they have going on. And Will Rogers scrambles in the pocket looking for somebody available. He decides to keep it and runs up the sideline where he's ultimately pushed out of the end zone. But he does find a beautiful dot right over the head of the middle linebacker and gets Jaden Wally once again on a 13-yard reception as they get a chance to tie this ball game back up again, 31 apiece. Now Mississippi State will start with the football and Will Rogers decides to extend the play with his legs, finds William over the middle of the field and decides to call his number again on an easy read option that gets 
gets him into the end zone. But just when you thought that this game was all for Mississippi State, the kicker misses the extra point, which means all Texas A&M has to do is score and kick the easy field goal. And they are going to drive this field with some authority. As the running back gets an easy first down, quarterback calls a play action where he finds a man over the middle of the field, Max Wright with the four yard touchdown. And if there's one thing that Texas A&M is not gonna do at home, is not put a shaky kicker up there and he will drill it right through the uprights as Texas A&M hands Mississippi State their second loss of the season. Right before we take on the toughest team in our conference and unfortunately we take a loss against Alabama. Our next matchup will be against Arkansas. Will Rogers squeezes this pass in between two defenders and Robinson strong arms a defender and gets all the way up to the 20 yard line. 47 yard reception and Will Rogers is continuing to drive this field as they are down three with 30 seconds left to go in this fourth quarter. Another one right between two defenders he finds Jordan Mosley. Six seconds left to go they decide to go for the win and they're stuffed at the line of scrimmage and that's when Coach Leach will take a timeout to decide whether or not he's going to go for it or if he's going to kick it and in Coach Leach fashion what does he do? He decides to trust his quarterback on a read option and he gets it right into the end zone as they will not only knock out Arkansas on the road but they will now move to an 8-3 and three record. Last game of the regular season against Ole Miss and we are currently sitting third place in the SEC West. We're not competing for an SEC championship but on a positive note Will Rogers the focus of our offense not only finishes top five in the Heisman race but he breaks the school records that were previously held by Dak Prescott. Mike Leach will finish this season with a 10-3 and three record and because of a couple of the key changes we made for offense and defense we had several notable transfers from both Ohio State University and LSU. We also finished with the number seven recruiting class and Will Rogers took a major leap in the offseason. We were projected to be number four in the SEC West and Will Rogers name was on top of the Heisman list for this new season. As we enter the following season we absolutely dominate every team we go up against nobody can stop this air raid offense as the confidence and the skill has now got a chance to flourish with will rogers under this mike leach offense right now sitting number two in the nation with the number four recruiting class mississippi state is sitting on top of the sec west however the last five games of the season outside of one are all ranked matchups so this is where the dirty work begins number one mississippi state at home with texas a&m in overtime they get a chance to score and unlike in last season's debacle they make sure that the kicker nails this field goal. One score is the difference between these two teams as Johnson pitches to their running back who gets smacked by the strong safety who's there to make the play. On a crucial third down and nine, Johnson for Texas A&M looks to see if he can find somebody available and throws almost an interception. This is the ball game right here on a fourth down and nine in overtime. Johnson is trying to find somebody and is picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. You might remember that name from the beginning of the video who ends this game and continues the dream of an undefeated season. As Mississippi State hands Texas A&M yet another loss for this season and continue their path to what could potentially be their Cinderella run as they get a chance to beat not only Kentucky, but can they do it against Alabama? A lot of other players are getting really interested at in playing at Mississippi State. And with the three-point lead between the number two and number four team in the nation, Bryce Young finds a beautiful pass along the sideline and is ultimately knocked out of bounds. Alabama is down three and is driving this field to try to see if they can win this ball game. Bryce Young, with all the time in the pocket, throws a dot over the middle of the field between two Mississippi State defenders, and they are down at the three-yard line. Bryce Young looks around finds a wide open man but if there's anything you got to know about coach Leach is that he believes in his players Will Rogers will step out there with 20 seconds left to go and Will Rogers would put on an absolute Heisman performance as he finds a sideline dot to Thomas who rips up to the 35 yard line next play of the drive 12 seconds left to go in the ball game finds another man wide open Thomas who will be knocked down at the two yard line and Will Rogers calls his own number like he's done so many times before and they will be victorious as down goes the Alabama Crimson Tide. Emotional, but they have to keep their composure as they continue their Cinderella season. Mississippi State sitting on top of the SEC West, and they will finish with the 12-0 record as they beat Ole Miss. Heading into the conference championship gameplay, they face off against Georgia, and they handle business. Mississippi State will now be one of the top teams in the nation for the college football four-team playoff system. Will Rogers also got crowned the Heisman Trophy winner. Will Rogers in his junior year would accomplish so many different accolades along with many other Mississippi State players, but the job's not done yet. Now it's the playoffs. Mississippi State would face off against undefeated Tulane in the first round of the playoffs. 14 to three, Mississippi State has the lead and Will Rogers decides to scramble and extend the drive with his feet. He finds a wide open lane and everybody is not even looking at him because they're so concerned about the air raid offense. With a 28 to nine lead, Will Rogers extends the drive yet again, looking for somebody that's available. And over the middle of the field finds Marks, who is ultimately taken down at the 12 yard line as Mississippi State continues to dominate this game with their air raid offense. 
offense. Are you going to pass it? Are you going to throw it? They don't know. And as they continue putting foot to mouth, Mississippi State will come out of this game victorious and will be crowned your bowl game champions that will now have a chance to compete for their Cinderella season in the national championship game. But the work is not finished. Mississippi State would have their hands full as they have to go up against an undefeated University of Oklahoma football team. With a two possession lead in the national championship game, here we are halfway through the third quarter. Will Rogers again continues to use his legs to extend the drive where he'll find a man who will drive into the end zone for the score as they continue extending this lead. After a beautiful stop by the Mississippi State defense, Will Rogers decides to put the nail in the proverbial coffin as they get the double and they will be crowned your newest national champions. Mike Leach may not have had the chance to be able to finish the dream or what he had started at Mississippi State, but he did build a culture of young men that he left behind a legacy with, not only at Mississippi State, but in all of college football. An undefeated season that's capped off with the national championship as coach Mike Leach would retire the same way that he left this earth. He went out on top. Thank you to Coach Mike Leach for what he's done for this game and so many young men. The game will definitely miss you.